Okay, got something new to talk about. Windows 8. How much fun is this going to be? Everybody knows about Windows, right? Microsoft has this thing, every other operating system. So far, if you figured it out, every other operating system sucks. My personal opinion, coming from a tech standpoint, yeah, they have, they give you a great operating system, and then they get everybody excited, and then they fix all the bugs after a year, and then they're like, oh, we're going to come out with something greater and better and new and fantastic, and it blows. It breaks. Nothing works. But then all of you people go out and buy it. Keeps me in business. I'm a happy guy. Well, I mean... Follow the trend. Windows 3, 1, was a solid, stable, what, going from DOS to Windows up uh, operating system. It was so-so. DOS, super stable. 3-1-1 for work groups and networking, that was really good. Windows 95, absolutely horrible. That was the worst operating system in the world. Um, then they fixed it. It was okay. Windows 98, Windows 98 Second Edition, fantastic operating system. Windows Millennium Edition, oh my god, what an anchor. Then it came out with Windows 2000, phenomenal, stable, you could beat it up, you couldn't kill it. You, you had to work hard at killing Windows 2000. And, yeah, I'm still having problems with Windows Millennium Edition, that was just... An, an absolute abortion that was horrible that was the worst thing that Microsoft could have ever done because they just they broke so many things and I think that's where the whole Linux revolution came from because people were so pissed off at Microsoft for coming out with uh, Millennium but then they came out with XP after 2000 2000 was kind of like Millennium or XP was kind of like Millennium and 2000 combined they had the you know, the prettiness of Millennium, and they had the stability of 2000. It was a decent operating system. It took them two or three years to really make XP a good operating system. They had XP, they had one version, then they had two versions, then they had Service Pack 3. Service Pack 3 kind of screwed things up. Again, odd numbers. The third one screwing things up. Service Pack 2, absolutely fantastic. If you kept it stable and you didn't screw with it too much, great operating system. You couldn't go wrong. It was really hard to break it. And then they came out with Vista. Why? Six months later, they came out with Windows 7, and everybody that bought Vista, they offered free upgrades to because it was such a piece of crap. You bought a Dell or you bought an HP that came with Windows Vista. Dell and HP were so freaking embarrassed that they put Vista on their computers. They went, oh my God, we're so sorry. We're going to give you a free upgrade to Windows 7 as soon as it comes out because this is such a hunk of crap. Windows 7, best operating system out there. Now Microsoft plan. this is coming from an article from PCMag. Uh, if you go to PCMag.com and just search for Windows 8, to ship in October. And I'm reading this right to you. Microsoft plans to finish up Windows 8 this summer in time to launch in October, according to Bloomberg, Bloomberg report on Monday. The Wire also reported that under five windows on ARM devices will join the rollout with more than 40 Intel machines. Microsoft has not announced a ship date for Windows 8. Yeah, that means that they're not done with it. But they plan to finish it and launch it in October. Okay. But the reported time frame would be complete uh, would completely be kept in with Microsoft's previous Windows 7 roadmap. Windows 7 was released to manufacturing on July 21, 2009, and Microsoft began shipping Windows 7 on October 22, 2009. Uh, Bloomberg points out the proposed ship dates was high in Microsoft's schedule, allowing OEMs to ship Windows 8 machines by Christmas. That's so all of us can test their piece of crap find all the bugs, complain about it, they fix it, make us buy, buy the new operating system and, you know, move forward. And 
then when they come out with the new stuff, then we get to buy it again. Yay! Um, uh, let's see, the new Windows on ARM tablets. That's something to talk about next week. Uh, sure to be one of the more heavily scrutinized products this holiday season. Nokia has already uh, indicated that it intends to be one of the first to ship a Windows 8 tablet. Uh, and the first report indicated that tablet would ship in the fourth quarter at the earliest. Dell's chief commercial officer, Steve Felice, told Reuters in London over the weekend that Dell is testing new tablets running Microsoft's forthcoming Windows 8 operating system. Dell has consistently said that it is banking its tablet strategy on Windows 8. Uh, really? Is that a good idea? They're still fixing Windows 7. Aren't they making Windows 7 tablet compatible? Is this strictly a tablet operating system? Are they going to be putting these on desktops? Who knows? Um, Dell has consistently said that it's banking is trying to, I already said that, uh, with an apparent emphasis on manageability for the enterprise IT space. So I'm guessing they're trying to steal away. Um, Apple's thunder because Apple can integrate with almost anything. You can take an iPad, hook up an iPad into uh, it's kind of a nightmare, but it works. You can take an iPad and put uh, remote desktop protocol, a remote desktop connector into an iPad and sign into any Windows desktop system or a uh, terminal server um, pretty much over any connection. Um, iPads are kind of really cool. But, you know, for a good one for 800 bucks a pop, if you're trying to outfit, you know, 10, 15, 20 people, that's hookah bucks. Um, so if Dell's going to put something out with Windows 8 on it and make all of us morons test it for only three or four hundred dollars, hey, they're smarter than I am. Um, PC Mag's already installed Windows 8 on a touchscreen PC. Uh, Michael Miller has been living with a consumer preview that Microsoft released at the end of the last month. They have a review and uh, they've got a slideshow and there's a whole bunch of stuff and there's a, a link and you can, there's top stories at tech, you can follow them on Twitter, PC Mag. So, um, throw your thoughts out there, give me some ideas. Uh, apparently, Windows 8 is only going to work with Intel chips right now. They haven't really tailored it for AMD. Um, and they're uh, referring to it as a transformer type device. Uh, Asus is uh, going to be apparently like the most popular style tablet, uh, which I'm going to look forward to. I'll look at it. I don't mind taking a look. I like Asus products. Uh, but we will keep you updated. I might actually throw something in my blog about Windows 8 tablets. The more I learn about them, uh, we'll go from there. But let me see if I can give you a link. No, I can't. I will share this on my page. If you go to facebook.com slash tcglv.com, tcglv, and you'll see a link about Windows 8 to ship in October. It's kind of a unique, there's a lot of links, there's a couple of cool things to read about. But uh, that's it about Windows 8. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments and tip your waitress on your way out. <laughs>